On a sunny spring day, they set off on their ultimate procession. The silk thread woven by each caterpillar in its wake is what links them together. They move forward head to tail. Each head touches the belly hairs of the animal in front of it. Once the colony is on its way, there's no stopping it. A female is always at the head of the procession. Colony can wander like this for several days. The processionary is at its most dangerous during this phase when the forward march is in open terrain. If it senses a threat, it releases hairs that are coated in a highly irritating substance. These lightweight hairs float in the air and contaminate the zones around the nests. This venom can be harmful to both animals and men. People are often surprised to see a show up so heavily protected. In fact, city dwellers are usually unaware of the risks associated with these big white balls that are found in trees or the trail of caterpillars moving in between their feet. We're this well protected because the hairs are highly allergenic and can provoke reactions that at best may resemble poison ivy and at worst, could induce anaphylactic shock. A serious allergic reaction triggered by the microscopic caterpillar hairs. When the caterpillar feels threatened, it rolls into a ball and opens little pouches located on its back containing the stinging hairs. As a defense mechanism, the caterpillar shoots off these tiny hairs that act like invisible harpoons. When they reach their target, the hairs break and release their venom. Their sharp, barbed points can only be seen through an electronic microscope because they measure no more than 200 thousandths of a millimeter. These hairs, dispersed in the wild, will remain poisonous for over 50 years. Huge quantities of these hairs get caught in the silk threads of the nest, turning them into time bombs. The nest will remain poisonous for several months after the caterpillars have left. Throughout their growth during the winter months, they shed their larval skin several times. Each discarded skin contains millions of these hairs, which accumulate in the nest. The spread of the processionary caterpillar is creating a considerable sanitary and ecological impact. It was urgent for both government and the scientific community to declare war on this destructive insect. The pine processionary is a polymorphous insect. It goes from caterpillar to chrysalis to moth. There are three enemies, not just one. While the processionary is still a caterpillar, the 
the solution is to destroy its nests. This is a massive field job, and small towns often feel powerless when faced with such a task. And it's not a foolproof strategy. The moment has to be well chosen. Caterpillars are unpredictable fighters. They're capable of abandoning their nests earlier than expected. Fighting such a clever adversary requires a certain amount of cunning. As soon as the enemy leaves its silk fortress, it marches in neat columns. Annie Yart is a biologist at the National Institute for Agronomic Research. She's developing a way of eliminating entire caterpillar colonies using the tracking pheromones the caterpillars release as they move. For the caterpillar, these tracking pheromones are a matter of life or death. From the earliest stages of its development, it must scatter in order to feed itself. The tracking pheromones allow it to find its way back to the nest that protects it from the cold. I have spread tracking pheromones on these strips of paper. Now I'll put the caterpillars on these strips. You can see that they're following the scent. They move their heads around from time to time, searching for their trace. The caterpillars follow a path of chemical traces left behind by fellow processionaries. According to the scientists, it should therefore be possible to influence the caterpillar's migration and lead them to a dead end. Our study involving the tracking pheromones strives to define these substances. We're looking to find out what makes up the pheromones so that we can artificially produce a synthetic variety. If such a synthetic pheromone were applied to a tree, it might provoke a dispersal of the caterpillars. If dispersed on the wrong tracks, they wouldn't be able to find their way back to their nest. Because they need to live in groups, they couldn't survive the winter temperatures on their own. For the time being, this artificial pheromone is proving very difficult to synthesize. It will most likely take several more years of research in order to move from experimentation to implementation. There is another possible strategy on the battlefield using the enemy's own weapons against him. For example, the processionary caterpillar, who can only move forward in a straight line, is kept going around in circles thanks to a simple plastic tray. Instinctively, they need to sink it to the ground. A bag of soil will fool them and trap the entire colony. There's nothing left to do but collect the bag. Unfortunately, it's hard to imagine equipping all the pine trees of a given community. Those who escape the trap continue their procession, guided by their innate desire to sink into the ground. <laughs> 